Canada made me a promise. It makes all of us a promise, whether we're born here or arrive as immigrants. If you work hard, you get a good life. That anyone from anywhere can do anything. That hard work gets a powerful paycheck that buys affordable food and homes and safe neighborhoods. And that promise, like everything else, is broken after nine years of Trudeau and the NDP liberals. Most of all, he broke our immigration system. Today's immigration flip-flop is a massive admission of failure by Justin Trudeau, an admission that he's not worth the cost or the corruption. With his own MPs working to throw him out, and less than a year from the carbon tax election, Trudeau has suddenly admitted that radical, uncontrolled immigration and policies related to it are partly to blame for joblessness, housing, and health care crises. In fact, let's remember, after nine years of Trudeau, we have one in 10 Torontonians lined up at food banks. We have 1,400 homeless encampments across the province of Ontario. Two million Canadians have to go to a food bank every month. Scurvy is making a comeback. We have the worst economy in the G7. Everything is broken. He left Roxham Road open for a year after President Biden offered to close it. He removed the visa requirement for Mexico, which caused an explosion of false and fraudulent refugee claims. And he allowed rampant fraud and abuse in the international student program, countless losing their lives to drugs, gangs, and other chaos on our streets. He allowed ISIS terrorists into Canada. He's presided over a 251% increase in, in hate, police reported hate crimes. None of these decisions, by the way, were designed to bring workers to help with the COVID labor shortage. He can't fix the immigration system that he broke. And he now says he's going to cap immigration. Well, what else has he said he's going to cap? He said six months ago he was going to cap the number of temporary residents in this country to 5% of our population. Since that time, it's gone up to 7.3%. He said he'd cap the carbon tax at 11 cents a liter. Now it's 17 cents, and he plans to quadruple it to 61 cents. He said he'd cap this year's deficit at $40 billion. It's already $47 billion just six months later. You can't believe anything he says, especially when he's claiming that he will fix what he broke. Common sense conservatives will fix what Trudeau and the NDP liberals broke. We Let's bring it home.